I'm coaching this silver player who has a 0.5 KD all the way to champion. And this is the third episode of the series. So if you guys haven't seen the last two, link will be down in the description. Today, what we'll be doing is he played in this scrim against collegiate players, which if you don't know what collegiate players are, they literally go to college and they get scholarship money and etc. just for playing Rainbow Six Siege. A lot of things I evaluated today, I feel like a lot of you guys will relate to and struggle with. So be sure to watch the video. And if any of you guys are sitting in the silver to emerald range and you want to be in a future video, join my discord. Link is down in the description because I might need help with this coaching series. And it was kind of weird. One of the guys, uh, I guess he was like in like a house with other people who play the game and they were like screaming in the background. So <laughs> you might hear that. that's all good. The is there a reason why you're not making a head hole on the right there um i mean i kind of just like i play off side setups that i see from like good players like yeah i'll see in like different tournaments like they reinforce both walls and then they leave like a rotator head holes on the left yep so like a rotated someone's playing rafters and then a head hole is if no one's playing rafters okay so, you, so you can get an angle on the door you you have a okay so if you were to make the head holes like right there in front of you why do you think that would be useful because the the rafters door if anyone's trying to push up from there like if it's like a monty or like a just anyone pushing from that door mm -hmm. you could just try to waste time like try to just force them back so it's pressure basically it right yeah pretty much yeah. yeah okay so it's not only that but it's like as a defender if they get a site for example they they get rafters they run through they they're they're completely covered by that soft wall so it doesn't help you guys that's in let's say what is that what is that called is that called generator i think like that room because it's not connector yeah. uh no, no no it's like in between the sites not oh, in between electrical? yeah electrical Thank you. I always, I always get that mixed up with connector, but connector is a whole different yeah. room for some reason. Um, but yeah, electrical. Like if someone, if one of your teammates is holding electrical, they can hold an angle. If your guy is playing just in the middle of sight of uh, B, you know, he can have all these lines of sight. But once you give them basically no, no head holes, you're basically just giving them sight as long as they clear this mirror or if they walk yeah. blue and aqua. So yeah, always try, try to look for that because like, you guys only have one door frame technically to rotate in between sites uh besides this rotate that you made in rafters so it's just if they establish that control you have no pressure pressure is so important on defense okay i'm no, i'm interested no. like why are they not opening up it oh deadly and them yeah because like if they open it that is going to pressure you because they're going to shoot through that soft wall and you're not going to be able to play that mirror i think they either got the wall like later in the round or Something like that. I oh my god. It's on Raptor stairs. Yeah, okay, they're going below you. Do you not hear that S charge? Like when shit first blew? Yeah, that was really good off them. I just had a late reaction, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm surprised they're not walking up on Aqua, but they played that very well. Yeah. Sometimes I wish I was soulless. Yeah, they're coming from the walls. Trust me, I, I stopped shooting for a reason. Huh? Yeah, they're getting single wall. Thermite on single wall. How did they get that so easily? Where, like, what is Cade putting his claws down on? Anywhere. Yeah, you just like misclick there. Yeah, like prompt glitch or something. Where they come from? Where they going from? I got Monty behind. I'm, I'm getting pinched. He's not dead. I'm sorry, man. I tried to help, but it's good. It's good. Uh, there's, there's nothing to do. That's the fuse. Thatcher's behind him. Thatcher's behind him. <laughs> You're gonna. <laughs> yeah. He... <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> I mean, I I had to make the play. Behind him, so you would have been safe, but I guess not. I sold right here too. He's hurt. Okay, pause this real quick. Back it up just before you die. How could have you played this better? Honestly, besides listening to the dude saying you could have kept shooting. Well, that's what I would have thought. Uh, well, honestly, besides that, I was thinking maybe I could have rotated around. Or I could have just played like tucked, mm -hmm. um, and then just swing off sound. To be fired. To be honest, everything like even like everything you said is valid. Could be like you can play any situation fifty different ways. Personally, mm -hmm. what I would have done in this situation is play passive, like right here in EXO. Just look around, make sure there's no cams on you real quick, and just wait for him to plant because he has to plant 
you're one yeah. hp last known you were on that door frame so as long as you're not playing last known where you were that's fine it's just you are yeah. literally a foreskin of hp like that man could like tickle you and you will die yeah so, yeah and plus he has the magnifying scope so he has the advantage and like you don't know where bomb is and i i don't know like i don't think what you did was wrong but i would have played it a little bit more passive it's because of the hp yeah also aim higher bro yeah i'm trying to get like used to aiming high i i was working on it a while ago and then i just like stopped doing it for some reason but i'm trying to get back used to it again yeah every time you're like you're aiming like literally ads ask yourself like like this is the only way you're gonna break the habit is ask yourself yeah. am i aiming head level like yeah, yeah it's just a I habit understand. yeah especially in that situation because you need to shoot his head i don't mean any disrespect to these players but like this is like the last type of players you need to be around like this is some mickey mouse ass like shit playing with them yeah i don't know if you heard but after i lost that one against thatcher no. one of the guys was like you, you should have kept shooting and then no. he repeated it like three times like you should have kept shooting mm. you should have kept shooting like that honestly made me so mad yeah like, I hate when people do that like, that no i, I should have kept shooting and I, I i was like yeah i probably should have but he just kept saying it and like he kind of had like an attitude when he said it yeah you're gonna notice a lot of players in siege and just in games in general they have egos it's it's weird yeah. like i i would have been like okay thanks bro like it's it's not that deep like any good player is gonna tell you oh good try maybe you should have kept refiring but once again like any good siege player is gonna know you could have played that 10 different fucking ways like it, like there's a million different outcomes that could have came out of that. Like yeah. So like it, it's not that deep. You you don't you don't get sad or depressed over losing round. Shit happens. Um, it's just you you can sit there and maybe be like, yo, how could I have played this better? But being like, yo, you should have kept pre-firing. Like okay, dickhead, you should have made a head holes. You should have you know relayed better information. You should have played better yourself. You shouldn't have died. Like uh, I don't know. Like it just blows yeah. my mind. They're bringing a legion. They don't fucking make any head holes. Yeah, I hate when people like if like someone like sells around or like just like loses a gunfight and doesn't clutch like they get mad mm -hmm. like honestly from personal experience whenever people get mad at me or like talk like shit or something whenever i do that it doesn't like they expect me to like play better after like oh you should take that stuff and like yeah like that is the dumbest yeah like that's like that's not how it works bro like if you like denley whenever i play with denley he'll say like good try and stuff and it and then I'll, I'll play like better or I'll play like the same or something like I won't play worse. Yeah. And like if you're playing with people that just have that negative attitude, you're going to feel tense. You're going to not play it like you're going to overthink yeah. shit. So, yeah, being around people like that, you're going to want to avoid, especially while learning Siege, because this game is way too complex to have, you know, egos and shit. People are weird. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. One thing I do gotta say, see how you're like running back like that? Yeah. Like every time they get the breach, don't do that. Keep your gun up and be ready. Because sometimes like I'll say tucked on the breach and Yeah, yeah. I just mean like if you're gonna retreat back to Exo, it's just like I know for me as a thermite, I usually just pre-fire the hole away right, right away. Yeah. Are they screaming too, by the way? Yes. Yeah, wow, how are you alive, bro? I don't know. Uh, Alright, pa pause real quick. We're only doing two, man. Why, why do you think you lost that gunfight there? If you don't know, you just say don't know. Yeah, honestly, my only guess would be like bad positioning or bad aim. No, so the aim was fine. It just back it up to like when you're fighting, fighting Ash, like uh, from the start. And like, if you want, you can mute the audio. Okay, so notice like when you when you uh, originally engage. It's not bad. You're trying to lay down fire. Go ahead and play. You try to initially get that Shiko peak, which is good. And you kind of, you don't need to get this pick as much as you think because you're in a 5v3, but it's like you peeked back into the same exact angle. So her crosshair mm. and her knowledge of where you were last seen, it's easy because she can just pre-aim the exact same area and pre-fire. Personally, okay. if you're going to be doing that next time, either retreat back into sight or swing wide and like um can you can you go back like 10 seconds sorry i just want to okay see that exo on the right where Callie is this one yeah yeah like like on like it, she's in the little like little container on the right yeah she's on the behind it or something yeah yeah yeah. okay so i would have pressed myself up against that wall and then gotten closer because she's probably using a so if she's trying to pre-aim that door she's 
you know, you're going to, you're going to get the one basically, you're going to be able to possibly win that. But once again, that will be you giving her a one. So is that something you want to do in a 5v3? Personally, I don't think so, but Ash also just has prominent control of EXO. You guys have no fucking utility anywhere, so taking the one isn't that bad. But you can yeah. also maybe talk to your pinhead teammates and be like, yo, can somebody help over here on EXO? But I don't know if they would help you. Probably but, not. Yeah, probably not. Um, but yeah, like just try to limit yourself from repeating the same angles. I struggle with that myself because it's just such a stupid habit because I want to get the frag. But yeah. Yeah. So you mean like go from like crouch to like up or like well, no, not even that like don't even don't don't stand in that doorway like after like the initial just swings around. yeah just move around like keep ads don't run just keep your gun up and just switch the leaning position so swing okay. wide right lean left and be ready for her to swing wide okay she downs me she's in sight she's in b where in b the he's exo down. door oh he's dude uh, that's so door. Oh, dude. Okay, do you think him that he should have killed that thermite while he's downed? I was thinking, well, see, I was if because at first I thought that maybe he should because Thermite could like see him in his perspective but if he couldn't then no because he if Thermite doesn't know he's there then he could just bait his his uh his body he could bait like the revive or something yeah so if you see how Thermite was positioned basically like the camera is in between your operator's eyes basically like like just by your nose so yeah. Thermite did not see him so them in his ear I don't know why they're so fucking annoying but they they need to shut up like saying that constantly is just so irritating, but he has bomb. The guy he doesn't know he's there because he basically crouch walked in or like uh, slow walked. So he's in a yeah. perfect situation. He should technically win this. If I'm Legion, I'm not playing bomb. I'm throwing these goo mines on the bomb and dipping because Habana cannot grab the bomb, shoot all the goo mines, and then get back to site. Yep, coming up the stairs. Yeah, so here's one goo mine. Yeah, that's smart. Yep, he's running at you. He's running at you. Yep. W. So what is he doing? He's, he's good. He's good. Yeah, that was a good play. Yeah. I was gonna think. I was gonna but say, man, if he just lays there with five goo mines, and Jesus, man. Yeah, this is when they weren't really like telling me a certain operator to play. Yeah. Like, I was just kind of like, kind of like free balling it, but still like playing an op that we could probably use. Yeah, you can always use Malusi literally on any yeah. any map, any site. Yeah. I don't know if I would do the same spot. Okay, pause real quick. They have a. Okay, the way you place your Mel devices, why did you place them like that? Um, I used to place them on the floor because I heard that it's harder to shoot them on the floor. But, um, uh, then I started placing them on like if it's on a doorway, I placed them on the wall because then they'll have to walk in and shoot it. Okay, no, 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 sorry. I meant, like, why did you place them where they're at? Oh, um, I was thinking placing them just on the doorways just because they're, like, common, like, spots that people will walk in. Okay, so, hold up. Let me... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw something real quick. Okay, so, let's say that this is the blue hallway, right? This uh -huh. is the entire... This is the entire area. This is... This is rafters right here. This is yeah. IT. Fuck. IT. This is, uh, what is that? Electrical? Um, whatever. Okay, so this is one bomb. This is another bomb. Though that the bomb chassis isn't there, but you know, you, you get it. This is server door. Yeah. This is the walls, whatever. So you put one mail device right here. You place okay. another one right here. And then you place another one right there, right? Yeah. So, oh my god, PNG. So, why, what do you, as an attacker, you see that. How does mm -hmm. that make you feel, seeing, seeing no utility up to the door? You see no utility until you're up to the door. You see no utility until you're up to the door. That gives them free reign, right? Yeah. So, placing a Mel on this door frame isn't bad, as long as you have somebody playing around this area. Placing a Mel here 
technically isn't bad because you know they if they come in late it's going to be fantastic but nobody's going to be playing this blue aqua area nobody's going to be on the staircase you know so contesting anybody coming blue is going to be damn near impossible and the reason why it's that malusi more or less is bad is because if they push into blue even on the door they have free line of sight on the site since you don't have it barricaded you don't uh, i i'm pretty sure you have foot footholds and yeah, they can yeah. yeah they can walk up maybe even crouch possibly if somebody messed up the feet holes they can maybe even get an angle on somebody on site and you won't even know yeah now the it one that that's not bad like this one right here because of course mm -hmm. you're gonna have somebody playing rafters you're gonna be somebody hopefully maybe bandit tricking which i didn't see which is whatever no. yeah shit happens um but this malusi more or less depends on how your teammates are playing so that one's not bad the it one's not bad but this one you always have to think about where the attackers might see a gap and how they can take an advantage of that so the blue one which you know they did when you got ass charged right here when they went when they went below for the mirror yeah you got pinched it would have helped if there was a mel device right like right here earlier in the round so yeah I, I hope that makes sense i hope i'm not like over explaining obvious shit. yeah no you're good so uh it one right right now at the start of the round since like you're you're like kind of just lingering just waiting for sound or anything um you might want to just flick through cams real quick for anybody that might be roaming it's just for quick intel because i i'm noticing your teammates aren't doing it because they're all just kind of walking around as well so yeah just try to get on cams real quick if you're in sight and just give that information because that information can you know save your teammates did they open up connector no, I don't think so. Okay, so right here, you notice Thunderbird's in, in the shits right now. Get on that yeah. door door frame, peek a few times, maybe just get information, try to help him. At least get a refrag if he dies, right? Because he's right now, I don't know why you'd put himself in this position. It's fucking stupid. But, t like, take advantage of that moment to get a free pick. If you have to bait him, go ahead, but get the refrag. It was such a stupid position, bro. I tried to shoot back, but... Yep, they got this. Oh, oh so here. sorry. Paul, can you go back to where you're holding that pixel? Yeah. What the fuck are your teammates doing, bro? Okay, with this type of angle, like specifically like right here, you want to hold a tighter angle because the way you're leaning, it's like they're going to see a lot of your head and like body the way you're peeking right now. But if you hold like a tighter peak... You'll you'll see more and quicker when they come in IT because this is kind of like a delayed angle. Yep, they got this wall back here. They're droning it. They have a forest. Yep, he's beacon. Yo yo, do me do me a favor. Pause. So sorry, sorry, I'm making you pause so much. Are you good? Do you notice how Mew and Legion are being idiots and they're just stacked up in that entire area of command with you? Yeah. Okay, when you when you notice that earlier on, because I noticed they they were like that at the start of the round when they open IT. It's almost like they're they're giving map control. They're like, ah, here you go, good, get it, like take IT, take rafters, take everything. And there's a minute yeah. forty, bro, and they're already opened IT. They're already inside IT. They could easily be in rafters. They rotated over. They opened up. Uh, what is that? The connector breach. So they're yeah. pinching you guys from all sides. They're playing a very good attacking round, mm -hmm. even if they're not getting uh, Raptors control. And there's three of you guys in command center. If I had information that three guys were in command center, there's no head holes. You know what I'm doing? I am taking fucking sight. I am flooding the person that's in uh, the other site, killing him, and then we only have to watch one door frame. So to counter that. Either tell your teammates, which I know you probably wouldn't, and I know I wouldn't because, you know, you don't know these guys. You don't want to, like, be like, yo, go do this. Um, yeah. But maybe suggest them that they go contest because as comp players, they should know that. They shouldn't just be giving up all that map control. That's so prominent in sight. So contest. Don't Like, I'm noticing something I'm noticing. You are very passive, and that's because you're around people that you barely know, correct? Yeah, I didn't want to, like... I didn't just want to play like like it was a free-for-all. Yeah, that's valid. But what I want you to do, like going forward, is thinking about how can you contest map control. 
not can mm-hmm. you kill somebody how, or you can roam because i'm noticing you're playing that passive in sight that it hurts you you're not taking advantage of your gun skill i'm not saying yeah. play stupid but i want you to actually contest contest <laughs> see that mel see that mel bro but that's what i meant about that mel no perk has amazing aim yeah perk's disgusting no. like if you, if you just had that in the hallway yeah standing up she's crouching she's standing up she's going she's looking at the stairs i got sludge on five ping meeting hall meeting hall do me a favor pause it right there such a cheat Okay, remember remember when I was talking about downstairs about that ash, uh, about yeah. how you didn't need a peek. That that type of su- that type of situation is kind of similar there when you're in rafters, but the opposite. You do need to peek. You need to not allow him to get in sight. So when you were holding that angle uh, against the ash, that was proper. Like you were doing yeah, the right that's thing. Kinda, that's why I was baiting on it because I knew he if I if I just like played tucked and just. Yeah, gave him back. He would have just ran in. Exactly. Yeah, I, I just don't want want you to think because of that uh scuba or exo um that it was like a like the same because yeah. what you're doing you were you're doing the right thing. Okay. He's in there. In there. Wherever what? Hard to reach head. Single wall room, bro. Yeah, I don't know what these. Like guys anything would help, but staying in that room. Jesus. He's, he's literally. Are we not? They're right here. What the? Uh, what is that color? Games. What cargo, bro? I just died. I can't hear anything. Oh, I got shot in line. Nice, nice. I think Ash is like 75. Where is Ash at? She was last seen like that video. Cargo? This, this is so stupid. Me and Jog were just trying to one tap each other and I lost. Okay, yeah, yeah, pause it. Okay, so, so you know when you got that initial frag and then you jumped up because you you expected someone else to like, uh, to, yeah, to try yeah. to get a refrag? Yeah. Yeah, so never, when, when you get one frag like that, like when you're in a 1vx, you need to go off of, uh, what is it called? Like motion, basically. So it, it like what you did is instead of going in with rhythm and going to, you know, engage with another gunfight, you retreat it to give yourself like, you know, a, like just a bait basically for them to maybe try to get a refrag. When you do that, you kind of limit your possibility of winning the round because they have information where you last were seen, right? By the wall. Yeah. So they're going to have their crosshair on you. After you get that first pick, keep your gun up and just try to um, move around to a different angle in sight or just try to go back around EXO. Like, uh, I know you're trying to like, Ask your teammates, like, where were they? Whatever. But you, sometimes you just need to, f- like, force ones. Because once they get the bomb down, it, you're basically toast. The, the clock is literally against you, and they do not need to peek you. Yeah. I, he said, I knew where Thermite was. Um, and then I asked where Ash was, and he said where I was looking, but it was where Thermite was. So I wasn't really trusting their calls, mm-hmm. to be honest. I was kind of just, like, kind of iffy about them. Yep. So I wasn't really positive where Ash was. That's why I didn't really want to, like, try to make a play. Because I didn't want to, like... Because if Ash really was over here, I probably would have came up closer to the door Mm -hmm. and try to get a kill or take a gunfight or whatever. But I didn't want to, like, maybe swing out and then Ash is sitting on the single breach and she hasn't... She could see me swing and then I just die. Yeah, but, like, you... It's just you have so many possibilities here. Like, you could go to EXO, you can wrap around. Um, if, like, I'm not saying this is a good idea, but technically you could flank around a cargo. Uh, but it's just anything but pushing yourself back in that corner. And then, especially on a vaultable, because once again, like, you, you once you hear the person start planning, you do, like, you have a very low chance of winning that round. Because technically, you you know that technically Ash, from the shitty little comms that your teammate was giving you you you're gonna think that ash is cargo but that's where thermite is but the person that's planning from the looks of it is ash and it is by the single wall so you do have that information even though the operators were flipped i thought it was thermite planning yeah that, that's totally that's totally valid but you heard it single wall so basically you think that ash is going to be cargo so 
it's either you force the you need to force the one on the the thermite or whoever the the, the hell you think is cargo. Just don't force yourself in a corner. Yeah. Yo yo, do me a favor and yeah, pause no, this. Okay, so just for future reference, when you're attacking this uh, this this site, a lot of people will extend, especially like I know I don't know I don't know if you're like playing comp or trying to get into that, but even like like higher ranked players, they will basically have two two bodies, sometimes three upstairs contesting for this window, and they have a like a like a hole, like technically what they have now, and somebody's always watching that jump in. So instead of pushing like directly into this part. Go from literally anywhere else. Take Raptor's control and then clear the map down because it's going to be like impossible for you to jump in this window yeah, with 100 like HP. Top down. Yeah, literally do a top down. Just clear upstairs really quickly and that's it because jumping in this window is goddamn near impossible. Okay. Default mirror set up in uh, right now. Ah, shit. Do they not have meeting control? Like, are they struggling for that? Like, what this is meeting this room over here? Yeah, it's the, with the long table. To be honest, I don't even know what they did. I don't know if they opened the windows or even like checked it. Okay, here here's something you wanna you wanna try to do when you're playing, like attack especially. Or mm -hmm. even defense. Like scan, like right here, you're on the breach, right? You're you're trying to figure out if you can take you you calm that uh I, I don't remember what you calm to be honest the a second default ago. Default mirror setup and connector. Default mirror setup and connector, correct. Okay. So here right now you're at a stance where you can either walk in and try to face fuck that mirror try to ace charge it but you, you're gonna have somebody probably electrical nobody's there for a refrag so what you need to do here is you need to calm to thatcher nomad whoever is by you and be like yo can you come play off of me or are you guys struggling to get control of meeting because if you guys don't have meeting here there's no point in you pushing into this breach because yeah. you're just gonna get shot in the ass bro you're literally pushing into three different angles okay you want, me to, you want me to try to get the wall over there? Someone's electrical. Or did you Some, get it? Uh, I think Mira, Warden, or Warden. That's Mira's C4 well, gone. Warden and Connector. Mira, Warden and Connector. I got swung from Breach. Okay, pause. Sight. That right there is the same example as the XO round with Ash. Yeah. Yeah, same thing, just so you know. But, by the way, they're, they're calling Connector electrical. For some reason, Ubisoft like made that Connector room called connector when in my opinion it should be something else so a lot of people on this map will get that messed up so i think he was just getting that messed up it's not your fault for being confused because i would be like what the fuck too i sold my aim so bad here no got the kill that's all that matters nice. let's get out of there Trent. one was seen second floor lobby I, I just came down to kind of support you yep. oh yep dude all right all right this is all i'm being oh good shot Wait. Wait, haven't they had skins on before earlier? Uh, I, I once again, I, this could I could just chalk this up to maybe you're playing with people that, you know, uh are just fucking a little bit weird, but you want to make it a habit of trying to calm as much as possible like right here. Since you're like slowing it down, I, I notice you're trying to see what your teammates are doing. Like, even before Demos died, like, try to calm, be like, okay, what are we doing? Like, it's a 3v2. Okay, w w do we know where anybody is? Is there any cams? Once again, I, yeah. I know for a fact these guys are just randoms and you can chalk it up to that, but I, I don't know how you play around other people all the time, right? So, this is just another one of those things, like habits, where you're gonna wanna be like, yo, can we get a drone? What are we doing? 3v2. Like, where are you guys at? Like, it's just asking these questions that will help you. That BP, though, once you notice that shit was there, you need to get rid of that. Like, yeah, like, go, go the doorway or, or, or once you're asking those questions with your teammate, like, double up, triple up, take sight. Because technically speaking, once again, back to the technically, one mm -hmm. is going to be B and one is going to be A. So either way, you're taking a 3v1 and uh yeah you're gonna probably just get a refrag yeah I, I mean i i honestly didn't really like try to give those comms or whatever because you know they were just random people i've never met them mm -hmm. but i also kind of expected them to like maybe lead me in a way because they know i'm bad like i'm not as good well and i don't know a lot so i kind of expected them to kind of like lead me in a way i totally think that's valid that 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 is a good explanation but 
I think that you thinking that you're bad or that someone's better or they're more experienced is is kind of kind of stupid. Uh, and because the reason why I say that is because like just because you have a 0.3 KD, for example, like on the daily, or you might have a 0.5 overall, that should not make you play more passive. That should not make you play like different in any way. Because like once again, you're still learning the game. KD literally means fuck all. And that's the best thing I want you to get out of this. Because that's the only way you're going to improve. At the end of the day, if you're playing with people that are that are shit on you for your stats, like on, on a serious note, because I'll, I'll roast t some of my friends here and there, but if like they're doing that to, to belittle you, you should not be around people like that. You should always have okay. confidence. Siege is all about confidence. I can see yeah. it in your aim. You have like really good mechanics, good aim. It's just, there's something holding you back. And it's, I think it's that. I think so, yeah, probably. Yeah, you need to just stop worrying about that shit. Like, don't even, like, imagine KD wasn't even a thing, bro. Okay. Yeah, I also noticed, too, during the game, like, when this guy died to uh, Denley, he didn't, he didn't calm where he was after he died. Oh, yeah, no, it, which, where he died from. to be fair, if it's comp settings, he could have just got wall banged, which is valid, but... He, he, on the wall, I think, though. Yeah, he, he didn't say anything. So, yeah, 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 that's definitely right. This is probably going to be one of the last times I VOD review him going forward. I just wanted to do this so I can try to get the understanding of how he plays and what he mostly struggles with. Um, so if you guys, once again, want to join my Discord, link is down in the description. I will definitely be doing some videos where I might have some of you guys, you know, playing if you're in his skill range. Um, so, yeah. Join the Discord, and thank you so much for watching.